So if you're using Google Sheets and you want a little drop down box like this, there's only a couple of steps to go through to get it. We're just going to put three simple values in it. And the first thing that you do, just choose the cell that you want the drop down to go into. And then go up to the data menu and choose data validation. And once you're at this screen, there's just a couple things to consider. The cell range, you already chose that, assuming you just want it in one cell, is B12. If you highlighted a group of cells, that would uh, show in here. Now this list from a range is something that you want to change, assuming that you already know the values that you want in here. So we just want to type them in. So just choose a list of items, and then type in your colors, whatever they were. Let's say they were yellow, green, blue, and leave this because, yeah, you want to show it in a drop down list. That's the whole point. And these other two items under here aren't very relevant to what we're doing. Leave them the way they are and choose save. So that's it. You have your basic drop down list done. You can only tell it's in there because this little drop down arrow is in your cell. If you don't choose anything yet, obviously it just stays blank. But when you click on the arrow, you get your three choices. And if you'll notice, there's no blank in here. So once you click on this arrow, your user's not going to know how to get a blank in there. They decide they don't want anything. So we're going to show you how to do that next. But for now, let's say it's yellow. One way you can get rid of the yellow is just to go back into the cell and backspace out of it. That gets rid of it. But uh, another... If you want to have blank as one of the selections, it doesn't work. But a workaround is that you can go back into data validation. Here's your list of items. And just make one of them not selected, right? So when your user comes in here and doesn't want one, you can just kind of turn it off by selecting that. If you want this in different cells, once you're done, you can just copy and paste it and it'll take all of the settings with it. I'm just using the keyboard. I'm holding down control, hitting C. Let's say I want it right here. Hold down control and hit V. And you've copied the entire uh, drop down list. Everything's the same. So it's pretty quick. Hopefully that's all you need to know. It's pretty helpful. If you need a reference, you just go to the website that's showing in the upper right hand corner and it'll have instructions there for you to follow. Thanks.